You're absolutely right. The National Weather Service has a saying, turn around, don't drown. One of nature's most deadly and dangerous things, flooding. Uh, and you don't want to get caught in anything like that. We had our own share of heavy rain last night into the early morning hours. Some locations picking up between one and two inches of precipitation in the rain gauges across our viewing area. Most of the day, though, just kind of cloudy, rather gray out there. Here's a live look from our Waukesha County Tower Cam as we look toward Pewaukee, and you can see a few breaks in the clouds there. But these clouds could still produce an isolated shower or storm as we go through the evening hours, though most of us will stay dry. You may just want to be prepared to dodge a few drops and that tops your weather headlines. Still going to be very sticky out there. I mean, our dew points holding close to 70 degrees, but at least we're going to break some Sunday sunshine. I think after we get a little bit of fog overnight tonight and into tomorrow, we could expect to see more bright skies appearing and outside right now. Quite a variety of temperatures on down to the south. 80 degrees in Kenosha. It's flirting with that in Burlington. 77 degrees from Waukesha through Milwaukee, but 68 right now in Fond du Lac. There's a frontal boundary that's just kind of meandering right across southeastern Wisconsin and across the area. As I mentioned, the dew point's very high, so the air very thick. There's an abundance of moisture out there to tap into for any of these isolated showers and storms. The wind not very strong, and it's going to remain rather calm as we go through the evening and nighttime hours tonight. As we widen out the view, notice on down to the south, 83 right now in Omaha, 90 St. Louis, 86 in KC, but only 57 degrees in International Falls, Minnesota. That is a huge clash in the atmosphere. Cooler and drier up to the north, sizzle and steam on down to the south. Right now we're in the sizzle and steam part. Here's a look at the satellite and radar combination. We have low pressure with a trailing warm front. This is going to be lifting to our north as we go through the evening hours. High pressure off to our west is our hope for quiet conditions coming our way tomorrow. Across southeastern Wisconsin right now, no precipitation to speak of. A good deal of cloudiness, though. Future forecast shows we could pop a few of those isolated storms tonight briefly, but then it looks like some fog by tomorrow morning, which burns off as we approach tomorrow afternoon. So your storm team forecast for tonight. Again, maybe an isolated shower or storm. Otherwise, patchy fog, warm and muggy overnight, down to 65. For tomorrow, then, expect to see a mix of sun and clouds after some early morning fog burns off. Warm and muggy, up to near 78. Here comes your Storm Team 4 seven day forecast. Get ready for another nice one on Monday up to 80 degrees, but still kind of summery and thick. Scattered showers and storms reappear in the skies on Tuesday and then Wednesday turns more comfortable. Look at this midweek looks to be terrific Wednesday, Thursday, even toward the end of the week on Friday. Plenty of sunshine, lower dew points and temperatures in the comfortable mid 70s. So we have just to wait a few more days, Katie, and it looks like it'll be refreshing. Yeah, it looks good. All right. Thanks, guys.